folks. Um, we spoke with the university, and they very clearly um, stated the same things that they had stated earlier in letters that um, homosexuality is completely out of line with yeah, 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 scripture, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that as a Christian institution, they cannot support our voice. Um, we have been denied access to campus. Um, we're not allowed. You want me to move, to move on to? Um, yeah. Go for it. We are not allowed um, onto campus in any form. Um, the police are going to allow us to go to the other side of this gate. Um, we asked to be on that side because that's where the administration buildings are and that's where the chapel is. Um, people are chanting. People are um, doing the uh, kind of like church when there's like uh, a leader and then response. Uh, people have, have told us that we're going to hell and that we are ruining the earth already. Um, it's, it's really bizarre hearing people chanting, um, so please be prepared for that. There's someone over there with um, a loudspeaker. And, um, but we are protected in that they are not allowed to come over to us. Um, there is a First Amendment's rights, but the police also have the right to organize different um, protests, and we are to be on this side. I, I just wanted to say that in light of the fact that we have people with signs, that I know sometimes you feel, yes, there's the oppressor right there saying horrible things, and you feel impelled to say something to them, to respond, but it's absolutely unnecessary. Um, the reality is that they are here because they know the message that we bring and they are opposed to that message. And so we can still bear witness to the truth and love that we um, embody simply by standing in silence. And, silent and it looks like that uh, Operation Save America is going to be with us. So remember, uh, okay. Craig and I both have been working with him. He knows me. So I, 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 wrote, yeah, I want to go. Okay, I wrote make sure you say that they are with Operation Save America, that they're not their group. And we want to separate right now. Yes. Again, all groups have to be separated, and again, we're giving everybody their space. Uh, so this is going to be Soul Force's space. I'm assuming if you're in another group, what we're going to do is put you down slightly that way. Uh, I understand your request, but you also understand the sidewalk. No one group can tell another group where they can go. No, but I can. I can. He can. Correct, and I can. And again, in this particular case, as you'll notice, the group over there, the group over here, they have been separated by our ordinance. Again, this is for the public. And again, I can understand your point about dialoguing, but he's making that available to you this afternoon. Uh, I think that's a reasonable request. What if I have to leave before this afternoon? Then we missed the opportunity. Um, your mind is evil and wicked, and you're living in a death spiral. Rather than a lifestyle, it's a death spot. You come into the last bastion of holy, righteous decency in America. Yes, sir. across the street, they're not over here either. Again, I have that authority, and again, what I'm asking you to do, politely, is to move down to that end. I understand that, and what I'm asking you to do, sir, is to please allow me to have a first answer. My First Amendment right, and yes, this you do. is and to stand up and speak this gospel. I have the public safety, and there's nothing you, sir. at risk here. Yes, sir. Again, look at, look at what we're causing right here. Now, your choice is to move down there. But, sir, I have a responsibility to speak be our first the gospel. Arrested. You would arrest me. Yes, sir. For this. Yes, sir. Well, you are breaching the peace. It's based out of Charlotte, North Carolina. You can Google their website. Not a bank order to move down the space. Sir, I have a responsibility. Bro, go ahead. I'm asking. Can you stand next to us while we're doing this?
Okay. Which will create a, a, a not not here next to us. There next to us. Okay. Well, that's that's always asking. That's always asking. We're not asking you to go to 291. Right. We would like to shoot down at that end, so we have. Right. In other words, he wants to separate the groups. Right. Okay. I can do that. Well, thank you very much. All they they just um, they just don't want me to be around these kids to, to give any information to them. Well, you're not part of this group, that right? Uh, well, I am. I thought I was. I came down here to be with them. And well, what's your name? Flip Benham. And we're actually young adults, not kids. I am the excuse me, young adults. Okay. And where are you from? What's uh, Concord, North Carolina. How did, you, how did you come to be here? Today? Well, I've been following them, and we're there on, on the website, and uh, I knew that I needed to get down with them because we deal with a lot of young folks, young adults like this, all over the country. So, you disagree with their our, No, our desire is that they would come to know the real Jesus that will set them free from the bondage of homosexual lust. And, and I, that's our desire. Not talk with you? Well, they talked to me. This young man right here has. He's a good young man. Um, and it's Matt, right? Yes, sir. Yeah, it's Matt. I, I think, Reverend, um, we're, we're on a, the sidewalk here. Uh, there, there's no telling what's going to happen yes, today. Yes, sir. Uh, we are more than willing this good. evening, uh, when all of this is over, to when all this public stuff is over, to sit down with you and to sit down with your group uh, and to have a discussion with you. But we're looking forward I mean, to if you just look
I'm not preaching, I'm going to share a track with you. I realize that, however, I'm going to pick the coordinates and separate lines. Yes, sir. Thank you very much. Asylum vigil and then talking and people come and talk to us. You said you were a Christian, but is this issue of GLBT students, gay lesbians, being bisexual, transgender? Does people, is it ever addressed in your church? Is it addressed in positive uh, way or negative I, mean, I, I go to the Southern Baptist Church. And um, I personally, uh, you know, I disagree with homosexuality personally, so I believe it's a sin in the scriptures. You know, what does the scriptures say? I mean, God is not a God of both homosexual sin and non homosexual sin. He's got a us. He's not a God where there's changing the ways, you know. He, he's got to believe something's a sin or it's not. You know? there's, also, there's also support in the Bible for slavery. There's also support in the Bible for subjugation of women. Do we still uphold that today as morally right? We used to. We used to. Bob Jones, interracial marriage was not allowed, but now it is. Interracial dating. You see, like, dating, I'm sorry, that was yeah. just seven years ago. So, I mean, it's... Even though that's seven years, some people are still growing I mean, interpretations, are still changing. I think yeah. it shows just kind of like the pattern, the historical pattern of Christianity and how things, understandings of morality have changed. Well, it's not saying that overall what is right and wrong has changed, but just the right. human understanding. I believe that. I, like, I believe everything you said. Here's, here's the thing is that I believe everything you said about saved by grace. Like, I believe all that. Because we were, we were talking about what is our difference. And so I could say our belief system is the same, except for this one thing, and you see it's really important, our different views on homosexuality. And for me, it doesn't even come down to action because I myself am not gay. So it's coming down to a very simple belief. But you said that this book has the sins of problems. And, and this is where the Not issue just is. just that sin, but yes, you're okay, right. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're right, we're right. Like perpetual I mean, sin. I would stand against so when you say that 99.999% of Christians throughout the, all of eternity are now in hell because during their certain time there were things that they didn't realize were sin. So say, like, is, is slave owning sin? I would say yes. Okay, so people I perpetually own slaves. Deals with that. Pretty much all throughout history they own slaves. Okay, so then, then they were Christians. 
Sure. And that, that was how all Christians dealt at the time. So they were living in perpetual sin and they never repented. Okay, and I said, never, they don't, never repented. Right, don't, don't misunderstand me. Okay. Um, so men, saying, men because are I'm saying like it, Hebrews 412, the, the intentions of the heart are important because I would argue that like throughout time, truth is revealed to us and like truth is the same, but throughout time it's revealed to us differently. And so I certain, certain people in certain points of time didn't have Here's the answer that.